Welcome back to Heroes and Whiskey. We are printing our way through the D&D 5e Monster Manual, and today we are printing monster number 46, the Shadow Demon. This Shadow Demon from Loot Studios, I think this is one of my favorite medium-sized figures that we have printed so far. Uh, now, smoke is obviously hard to replicate in solid 3D, but I think Loot did a pretty good job overall. And there's just this sense of anticipation and menace that comes with this guy. And like all Loot models, the details on the Shadow Demon are really sharp. I love that they pay attention to all of the nooks and crannies. And I also really like how Loot handles wings. Like they always feel like they're the right size for the figure. They feel like they have the right musculature for the weight of the figure. As if I actually know how much a, a Shadow Demon weighs. This Shadow Demon was part of the Nightmares of the Abyss set that we purchased back in the Orcus series. So if you're looking for him, that's where you'll find him. If you're looking for other shadow demons out on my mini factory, there actually aren't all that many. There's this one from Realm of Past that I really like. I'm not sure if it comes with a base or not, because you can see in the renderings it looks like he does, but in the actual prints it looks like maybe the, the base does not come with it. And then... <laughs> there are these guys. I really like these guys. Now, they, the only reason that I found them at all is because I was searching for Shadow Demon, and this creator's name happens to be Duncan Shadow, and so all of their figures came up. But I really like how these guys look. I mean, they're basically Shadow Demons without wings, and they just have a really distinct style to them that I really like. Yeah, so in terms of how he printed, he printed out really, really nicely. Um, I mean, you can see, like, his hands, they're super tiny in real life, but all of his fingers came out clean. That one thumb even has a, a claw on it. Um, but for the most part, all of the horns and kind of pokey bits came out. It does look like this one uh, left horn here either didn't print or broke off somewhere along the way. He's also got some uh, support artifacts that you can see on the inside of his wings. But overall, this is a really successful uh, and clean print. In terms of size, you can see his eye line is right about with our six foot figure, but probably about eight or nine feet tall, 10 or 12 foot wingspan. And in terms of resources, because he was part of that Nightmares of the Abyss set, he did not cost us any money. He's kind of small, and so we printed him alongside some other figures. And so we are still sitting at a total cost to date of $417, and we're sitting at 8 days and 20 hours. So if you need a mid-sized demon to terrorize your party, the Shadow Demon from Loot is really cool. Next up, we've got the Vulture Demon, the Vrock. 